Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 14th may but before that two important things first is a lot of people ask for pdf the text version of the quiz is updated regularly on our website gktoday.in so please follow that or you can follow a twitter link given in the description box all the images used in videos are uploaded there another important thing is that If you like our content please share it with others thank you and now let's start which indian company has become the official sponsor of afghanistan cricket team for the 2019 icc world cup right answer is amul so india's dairy major amul will be the principal sponsor of afghanistan cricket team for 2019 icc world cup it will be hosted by england and wales If we talk about ICC World Cup recently ICC has partnered with UNICEF to organize one day for children event at Men's Cricket World Cup 2019 and the money that will be raised through this event will be used by UNICEF for work in cricket playing nations to help children apart from that ICC was also in news as Mr Manu Sahani has been named new CEO of ICC If we talk about ICC it is International Cricket Council the chairman of ICC is Mr Shashank Manohar the headquarters of ICC is in Dubai in UAE recently UAE was in news as it has adopted a new national artificial intelligence strategy 2031 apart from that UAE was also in news because of its hope probe it is an ambitious dream project of UAE to send a mission to mars which of the following countries has officially become the second country in world to declare a climate emergency right answer is ireland so recently ireland has become the second country in world to declare climate and biodiversity emergency earlier uk parliament passed a national declaration of environment and climate emergency and became the first national legislative body in the world to do so if we talk about uk the capital of uk is london in fact the headquarter of cset is also in london cset stands for commonwealth secretariat arbitral tribunal recently cset was in news as retired justice k s radhakrishnan has been appointed as a member of cset for a period of 4 years apart from that london was also in news as it has become the world's first city to implement a special ultra low emission zone on which date the 2019 edition of national technology day is celebrated right answer is 11th of may so every year on 11th of may national technology day is celebrated this day is special as on this day in 1998 india successfully conducted pokhran test these tests were conducted under the leadership of former president dr apj abdul kalam who was the then drdo chief if we talk about few other important days of may first of may is labor day second of may is world tuna day while third of may was celebrated as world press freedom day and the theme was media for democracy journalism and elections in times of disinformation on the other hand 4th of may was international firefighters day and the first tuesday of may is celebrated as world asthma day and the theme of this year world asthma day was stop for asthma apart from that 8th of may is celebrated as world thalassemia day to spread awareness about the disease yc deveshwar who passed away recently was the noted industry leader of which company right answer is itc so mr deveshwar was the chairman of itc he passed away recently he was india's longest serving ceo and he had received padma bhushan in 2011 after him recently itc md mr sanjay puri has been appointed as chairman if we talk about few other appointments recently justice p r ramchandra menon has been appointed as new chief justice of Chhattisgarh High Court on the other hand Justice Pradeep Nandarjog has been appointed as new chief justice of 
बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट वाइल जस्टिस विक्रम नाथ हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज न्यू चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश हाई कोर्ट एंड जस्टिस टी बी राधा कृष्णन हु वॉज द फर्स्ट चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ तेलंगाना हाई कोर्ट हैज बिन ट्रांसफर्ड टू कैलकाटा हाई कोर्ट सो नाउ ही इज द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ कैलकाटा हाई कोर्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम हिम रिसेंटली मिस्टर दलबीर सिंह सुहाग हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज इंडियाज हाई कमिश्नर टू सेशल्स एंड मिस्टर राकेश सिंह भदौरिया हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज न्यू वाइस चीफ ऑफ इंडियन एयरफोर्स विच इंडियन आर्म्ड फोर्स हैज डिसाइडेड टू ऑब्जर्व ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एज ईयर ऑफ नेक्स्ट ऑफ किन राइट आंसर इज इंडियन आर्मी सो इंडियन आर्मी हैज डिसाइडेड टू कोमेमोरेट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एज ईयर ऑफ नेक्स्ट ऑफ किन द आइडिया इज टू रीच आउट टू द नेक्स्ट ऑफ किन ऑफ बैटल कैजुअलिटीज एक्स सर्विस मैन एंड सर्विंग सोल्जर्स टू इनफॉर्म दैम ऑफ एंटाइटल्ड फाइनेंशियल बेनिफिट्स वेलफेयर स्कीम्स एंड टू हेल्प रिजोल्व पेंशन रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स ए वी टॉक अबाउट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन रिसेंटली यू ए ई डिक्लेयर्ड ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एज ईयर ऑफ टोलरेंस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द कर्नाटक गवर्नमेंट डिक्लेयर्ड ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एज ईयर ऑफ वाटर दैट इज जल वर्ष ऑन द अदर हैंड रिसेंटली प्राइम मिनिस्टर डिक्लेयर्ड अप्रैल ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन On the other hand, recently FAO, that is Food and Agriculture Organization, declared 2023 as International Year of Millets. The headquarters of FAO is in Rome, in Italy. Professor Kirpal Singh, who passed away recently, was a renowned personality in which field? Right answer is history. So, Professor Kirpal Singh, the renowned Sikh historian, has passed away recently. If we talk about few other personalities who passed away recently, recently Dr. N. R. Madhav Menon passed away. He was the father of modern Indian legal education. On the other hand, recently Miss Jerry Cobb passed away. She was NASA's first female astronaut candidate. On the other hand, recently Mr. Mrinal Mukherjee passed away. He was veteran film and TV actor. Apart from him, recently renowned economist. Mr Bedenath Mishra also passed away the supreme court has recently upheld validity of which state government's law for reservation in promotion and seniority to sc and st employees right answer is karnataka so recently supreme court has upheld the constitutional validity of karnataka's law for reservation in promotion and seniority to sc and st employees if we talk about karnataka it was in news recently as mangaluru city police in karnataka has launched old women police patrol unit and the name of this patrol unit is rani abakka force this is for the protection of women and children apart from that karnataka was also in news as it has won sayed mustaq ali trophy karnataka won this trophy by defeating Maharashtra Karnataka was also in news as India's first agromat forecast center has been inaugurated in Karnataka the center has been established by Ministry of Earth Sciences and IMD Karnataka was also in news as recently it launched a water conservation scheme named Jal Amrut on the other hand recently Sirsi Supari of Karnataka was given GI tag GI stands for geographical indication what is the theme of 2019 edition of world migratory bird day right answer is protect birds be the solution to plastic pollution so every year on 11th of may the world migratory bird day is celebrated to raise awareness of the issues affecting migratory birds and the theme of this year was protect birds be the solution to plastic pollution WHO has partnered with International Food and Beverage Alliance to eliminate industrial trans fat by which year right answer is 2023 so recently WHO has partnered with International Food and Beverage Alliance to achieve its target under replace initiative the objective of replace initiative is to eliminate industrial trans fat from industrially produced global food supply by 
Similarly, for trans fats, FSSAI had launched Heart Attack Rewind campaign for the elimination of industrially produced trans fat. FSSAI was also in news because of Swasth Bharat Yatra. The objective of Swasth Bharat Yatra initiative is to sensitize people about eating safe and healthy food. If we talk about FSSAI, it is Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. It was formed in 2011 and it is under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Now coming back to WHO, it is World Health Organization and recently it was in news as Dr. Somya Swaminathan has been named as Chief Scientist of WHO. Where is the headquarters of Konkan Railway Corporation Limited? Right answer is Navi Mumbai. So the headquarters of Konkan Railway Corporation Limited is in Navi Mumbai. Recently, KRCL was in news as it has signed a contract agreement with Nepal's Department of Railway to supply two train sets. If we talk about rail, recently Union Railway Minister announced new railway zone and the name of new railway zone is Southern Coast Railway. The headquarter of this railway zone will be in Vishakhapatnam and it is going to be 18th railway zone in our country. Apart from that, recently Bilaspur Manali Leh railway line was in news. It will be the world's highest railway line. On the other hand, India's first engineless train, Vande Bharat Express, has been launched. The route of Vande Bharat Express is from New Delhi to Varanasi. Apart from that, recently, India's longest rail cum road bridge, Bogi Beel, has been inaugurated. It is over Brahmaputra River in the Brugad district of Assam. Thank you, and that's all for the day.